2010, Samsung Galaxy S, arguably one of the most successful phone lines in history, Samsung launched the very first Galaxy S in June 2010. With 16 gigabytes of storage, a 1 gigahertz ARM Hummingbird processor, an AMOLED touchscreen, a 5 megapixel camera, and a 0.3 megapixel front camera, it was a very strong attempt at competing with Apple's popular iPhone series. 2011, Samsung Galaxy Note N7000, Samsung launched its first phablet, phone, tablet, the Samsung Galaxy Note N7000, in October 2011. With a screen size of 5.3 inches, something that was pretty unheard of at this time, iPhone users ridiculed it as, too big, asking questions like, does it even fit in your pocket? Quite ironic when you see that Apple currently sells iPhones with a screen size of 6.5 inches. 2012, iPhone 5, mobile technology really started to accelerate in 2012. Just five years ago apps had only just been introduced and it was fairly uncommon to find a phone with Wi-Fi capabilities. Within the next few years, most of the world would be able to unlock their phones using their fingerprints and there would be an app for pretty much anything you could think of. 2013, iPhone 5C, in September 2013, Apple once again changed the face of the luxury phone market with its attempt at a cheaper version of the iPhone 5, known as the iPhone 5C. Whilst the iPhone 5 launched with prices from $199 to $399 on a two-year contract, the 5C launched at a fairly affordable $99. 2014, iPhone 6 Plus, Apple launched its first phablet, the iPhone 6 Plus, at the same time as its iPhone 6 in September 2014. The phone brought a new, sleeker design to the iPhone, sporting a thinner body but a huge 5.5-inch screen. This new design didn't go down well with everyone though. 2015, Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, easily one of the best-looking smartphones of its time, the Galaxy S6 Edge boasted a truly unique, curved edge-to-edge -edge screen. It also boasted an incredible battery, offering 4 hours usage out of just a 10-minute charge. It also offered wireless charging, a 16-megapixel camera and a Quad HD Super AMOLED display. 2016, Google Pixel, Google launched its flagship phones, the Pixel and Pixel XL, to a great reception back in 2016. Whilst the model's design was nothing special, its high-quality hardware and software led to it receiving near 5-star reviews across the board. 2017, Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, Samsung released what were arguably its two best models to date in April 2017, with the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. The models featured a full-screen Infinity display, support for wireless charging, a 12-megapixel camera with an f1.7 lens and full-proof security features including a fingerprint scanner, iris scanner and face scanner. 2018, OnePlus 6T, Shenzhen-based manufacturer OnePlus launched its strongest proposition yet in October 2018, with the OnePlus 6T. The company has slowly been gaining popularity since the launch of the OnePlus One back in 2014. Since then it has released a new model every six months, making its name as the affordable smartphone to buy. The 6T went on sale from just $529 for the 128GB model, compared to the iPhone XS that starts at $999 for the 64GB entry-level device.